guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Aquarius. Thank you all so much for joining me here, Aquarius. This is going to be your daily reading, Aquarius, for your general energies and also for your love energies, Aquarius. So let us see what is coming up for your general energies first, guys. And then I will be going on or moving on to your love energies, Aquarius. So first for your general energies, I will be picking out some cards and then we will be progressing towards your love energies, Aquarius. Yes. We have the Hermit card. We have the Knight of Wands. And we also have the Magician. So with these three cards, with the Hermit card, especially with the Hermit card, all I can see here is that you are in that hiding energy. Hermit is a card that represents a wise energy, but also a hiding energy. You don't want to come about, experience life. You're more of like waiting for the right time to come out. That kind of an energy is what I can see here. You feel complete and I also see that you have a great vision and you will do what you're supposed to you will kind of like execute your plans you will make sure to manifest all of your goals manifest all of your plans when the time is right and i see that you're very very practical in manifesting your plans in a sense you're not going to have dreams that are um, too much you're not going to have a dream to buy um, what to say buy a island or something no you're going to have simple goals simple dreams and the dreams that you can manifest okay uh, so that is what i can see here guys you're going to be sure about it you're going to accomplish whatever you must accomplish and yes that is it that is the overall energy that i can see for you guys here my lovely Aquarius and also you are going to be practical you are going to be motivated towards your goals towards your dreams and you're going to be like energizing yourself if you haven't been in that same energy if you haven't been excited if you've always been dull then you are going to re-energize yourself do things to kind of like bring back the person you once were and you're going to kind of like influence yourself uh, so that is again what i can see here and i can also see that you're going to leave the bad habits behind if you have certain bad habits that you are clinging on to for a long time you're going to leave all of that now and you're going to start as this new person okay especially with the magician card i can definitely see here that today you are going to be very very focused on accomplishing whatever you have to a really focused energy so yes guys this is what i can see here my lovely aquarius and you are going to be very practical too thank you all so much for joining me here aquarius and if you want a uh, love reading please continue to watch this i will be picking out cards for all the three sets of you guys for those of you who are in a committed relationship for those of you who are in the separation state and for those of you who are in the singles energy too for your love energy so keep watching i will start that love reading just after i pick out these cards so say please please keep watching okay hi guys so this is a love reading for you guys let us just start off the love reading this is going to be for all the three sets of you for those of you who are in a committed energy for those of you who are in a separation state and for those of you who are in um 
a singles energy for all the three sets of you so let me just shuffle the cards and lay out the cards for you guys my lovelies So for those of you who are in a committed energy, committed relationship, separation state and for those of you who are in a singles energy. okay guys i hope these cards are visible to you I, i'm really sorry if they were not visible yes i hope they are visible now let me just move these cards a little bit um side so that they are proper i hope all of these cards are equally visible to you guys so now this is for those of you who are in a committed energy committed relationship but something is wrong in your love situation you can watch for this okay this is a pile that kind of like gives you insight on a separation state or if you are in a separation state with your person then you can watch this and for this pile it is all about singles energy and how you can is there any new relationship for you and anything that is coming up next for you will be for this pile okay you can watch any of the files and each part of you might resonate for you guys but anyway try to meditate for about five minutes five to ten minutes open your eyes and the pile that you are most attracted to is the pile that you choose i will be starting with the pile number one for those of you who are in a committed relationship and please pile number two and three some of you help me and put the timestamps in the so let me start off with the pile number one guys okay 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 so we have with these two cards friend the uh four of wands four of swords and the eight of wands all I can see here is that this person wants to communicate with you guys. Maybe they don't uh, have the time to communicate with you or maybe the work is too much that they're not able to communicate with you or something is definitely blocking this person from communicating with you. But I don't see that they don't want to communicate with you or they don't want you in their life because definitely this person is very interested in wanting a relationship with you, wanting communication with you okay so definitely they are not avoiding if you were thinking like if they are avoiding the communication i don't think so they're not avoiding the communication between you both the situation is created in such a way that they don't have time for your conversation or something like that okay that is what i can see here but this person has a lot to express a lot to tell you and trust me on this they will come tell you everything one day or the other and with the four of wands i can also see that they're not able to move there is something that is blocking them there is something that happened in their past and they're scared that the same situation would happen with this relationship too and that is the main reason they are blocking themselves from this relationship they're blocking themselves from this commitment and yes guys that is what i can see here for you my lovely so this is what i can see here for you guys especially with the strength card again this person is trying to be strong but i think like when they see you they get weak they start crying because a lot of things happened in their life before you came into their life and that is the main reason that is making them not talk to you okay or maybe that is the main reason why they're lying to you that they have work or something like that because they don't want to face those emotions that they faced before so yes guys this is what i can see here for those of you for those who picked the pile number one i will move on to the pile number two now 
Okay, so for those of you who picked out the pile number two, let us see what is coming up. Okay, so we have the three of wands in reverse in the sense this person is not spying on you They are not uh, nosy. They don't want to know anything about your life. All they're doing right now is the sitting and brooding over the loss of you. So this person has not yet started anything in action they have not started uh, coming towards you then they have not started like doing things to make it possible to happen a relationship with you no this person has not started anything of that sort all i can see here is that with a pile number two this person is still in that uh, shock of the loss they have with you okay they're still in that shock they're still sad they're still depressed over this connection they still want you okay they hate no they definitely know that you're not over them they definitely know that you still love them and they're still shocked with this connection with you guys okay so this is when this card comes as definitely nothing to do with this person moving away from you with this person not loving you anymore because all i can see here is that this person is shocked when it comes to a relationship with you because they definitely want it with you and they don't know what they're going to do when you're going to like leave them or something like that so yes guys which is leading them to this shocked energy my lovely so this is all i can see here my lovely so for your reading for your love reading for today so they're still under that shock of the loss and they're still not like thinking about other things so yes guys i will be moving on to the pile number three now thank you all so much for watching So, what do we have for pile number three? Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my god, but in reverse. Okay, so what I can see here for you guys with the three, I mean with the eight of swords in reverse, I mean in um, upright is that still you are blinded by this love you're still blinded by this love they're still blinded by this love even though you are in a separation state this person is blinded by your love they're not able to make correct decisions okay i can definitely see that one person cheated the other this relationship was not built on trust it was not built on good terms and it was meant to separate or something like that but still i can see that one person is still wanting this connection with you they still want to manifest something good with you they still want to have this union with you i can see all of that happy energy overflowing in your reading this person does love you too much and does want too much from this relationship they want whatever they have to uh, manifest into your physical reality they do love you a lot they do um, want a connection with you and they will do anything to kind of have this relationship with you guys because if you can see with this card they've still not let go of you they still not let go of this relationship that they have with you they do love you they do care for you and they understand you completely when it comes to this relationship okay with the wheel of fortune all i can see here for you guys is that uh this person uh, definitely guys i can see here that they do have a specific feeling when it, it comes to this relationship and they're working hard to fulfill it okay they're working hard to manifest it they're working hard to fulfill it okay so that is also what i can see here so thank you all so much and the universe will be helping you to come out of it see the truth and to manifest what you deserve so bye guys see you all tomorrow my lovelies hope this reading really resonated for those of you who chose the pile number three and bye guys